morning ladies and gentlemen on MeetC69. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to look at what's in the shop, what I would recommend and what I would stay away from. Uh, as usual, we do this pretty much once a month uh, just to give you some recommendations um, on premium tanks that have come into the game. So first up, we've still got these lock boxes. They should be gone uh, almost by the time this video is released they should pretty much be gone but moving along um obviously we have the stg which i just did a video uh, about a couple of days ago which pretty much says do not buy this tank especially at this price i was right on the price um it should have been released a couple of days ago when i released the video which uh, i changed the description pretty much to say when this tank comes don't buy it um so wargaming have finally released the tank uh and i'm saying don't buy the tank. It is a useless tank. Even for 12,500 gold, this is not worth it. Why would you want to spend 12,500 gold on a shit tank when you can actually spend 10,500 gold on two tier 8 tanks that are actually much, much better? The T54 Mod 1, which is an okay tank. It's a good tank. It's not as good as it once was, but it's still pretty decent. And the, the Lorraine 40T, again, that's reminds me of the, the Leopard one. You, you have to kind of use your brain uh, to think about it, it uh, to play it. It has the four shell auto loader. Uh, it does have no armor whatsoever, but it does have a nice uh, nice speed and, and not bad gun. It's pretty much the mop up tank. You uh, you roll in when teams or, or tanks are on around sort of seven, eight hundred hit points and you just uh, clear them. So that's a pretty good bundle if you ask me 10,500 gold for them both obviously you're getting the uh, the camos you're getting full equipment the times five that's a really really good offer 10,500 gold for them both or 6,500 gold for the uh, for each of them which is still a good buyer in my opinion um nothing really here we've got the scorpion containers um 15k gold for 19 which okay you're getting quite a few uh containers with a four put four percent drop rate chance now i do know quite a few people that have got the scorpion in these crates but seeing as it's still crates i mean i'm not going to say they're worth it because you never know if they're worth it you could get it on i mean you could buy this one right here one crate 1k gold and you could get the tank then of course it's worth it but if you buy this one and you don't get the crate, uh, if you don't get the tanks, uh, the tank, then of course, no, it's not worth it. So if you do get the tank, it's still, in my opinion, not worth it. 15k gold for a tier 8 tank, not worth it. This one, however, if you do get the tank in this one, then yes, it will be worth it. But there is no guarantee. You might end up having to buy this one and this one to get the tank. And even then you still might not get the tank. So having said that, it's still a lovely tank. It was my favorite premium tank for a long, long time before the Pajetto and the Action X came into the game. So if you get the tank, then it, you're getting a nice tank. You are getting a nice tank. But yeah, I, I wouldn't, I'm not going to say stay away from it. It's for gold. I mean, people could have that gold by selling collectibles or by watching adverts then uh, it's totally up to you. Uh, again, more lock boxes. This bundle here is not bad. It's really not bad. The AC4 Sentinel, uh, which is a tier six tank, and the FE201, which is the tier seven uh, British. Um, it's a nice tank. That's, think of the Black Prince. Uh, that is the FE201. The Sentinel is not, I mean, it's Nothing special, nothing special. But for 5k gold for both of them, that's a pretty good price. And the same as being, I mean, I don't know what Wargaming, uh, what's the logic? What is, I don't get what the logic is this. 5k gold for the both of them or 5k gold for them singly. Uh, yeah. Um, okay. Moving along, nothing really else. Um, This three, three containers, the uh, collectible, the time limit is actually gone on these, so I don't know if these are there to literally uh, to stay or not. But, you know, again, 
I, I would stay away from, from them. Moving over to the bundles, we have quite a good few uh, bundles, not bad bundles actually. The We have the subscription, which is annoying because it means you've just got to log on to the game for 30 days to collect that uh, to collect that gold the 3k 3k gold for three pound is actually a really really good buy but it just means you've got to remember to log on to the game to collect every day and you're collecting a hundred gold every day for 30 days so it, it's a good bundle if you remember to log on the canonan yeah the crates are probably not worth it in in my opinion um Moving on, we have the Gross Tractor uh, for three pound. Again, a really good buy. It's a good tier three, pretty rare. You're getting the premium time, you're getting the full equipment, and you're getting 250 gold. And of course, you're getting the boosters as well. So that's a really, really good buy for that price. And then we're just moving on along more crates. I mean, this one's a good buy. This uh, this one here, 29 pound for 11.5k gold million uh, 1.5 million credits and so on and so on not a good not a bad buy either if you do have that kind of uh, if you do have that kind of money uh, the same as this power build up one five pound for for that so basically that is everything in the uh, shop those of you that don't know uh, also we've got the camouflage for the Jaegeru. people have been asking how to get it all you've got to do is go play the Jaegeru, and you should get a pop-up offer for the camouflage and the attachment now the attachment is very expensive at 5k gold i accidentally bought that um yeah not not good i bought it in stream and i was i was quite ragey because i don't like paying 5k gold for a freaking attachment but it looks good it does look good 3k gold for the camo so uh just go play the tank if you want this pop-up offer go play the tank it might not be after the first battle i literally played one battle and i got the pop-up offer for this uh this camo so that is basically it guys the one i would definitely definitely recommend is the lorraine and the t54 mod one for 10,500 gold uh that's a good good buy in my opinion and the one to stay away from is the stg so i hope you enjoyed it guys i'm midzy and i'll catch you soon